equity between meat importers and local meat farmers. That is the request being made by the president of the Trinidad Unified Farmers Association, Shiraz Khan. He says at this time importers are being granted licenses to bring in meat, but this is disadvantageous to local farmers who must compete with the foreign product. Mary Therese Bernard has more. President of the Trinidad Unified Farmers Association, Shiraz Khan, is appealing to the Ministry of Agriculture and the Ministry of Trade to use discretion as they grant licenses for the importation of meat. He says local farmers suffer when a surfeit of licenses is granted. In the last three years, our livestock farmers have suffered a great and tremendous hardship of getting their needs sold on the local market. And hence the reason why we are a number of clamoring most of our sheep and goat farmers, our beef farmers, and most of the pig farmers. So this is about just the appropriate time where issues of permits and license are given out to people for the importation. Mr. Khan says it is high time that the amount of meat supplied by local farmers is taken into account when importers apply to bring in the very product that they produce. I am calling on the Minister of Agriculture and the Minister of Trade, the two relevant authorities that issue these permits, to put some sort of measure in place in terms of what it is that we are producing as compared to what is important. If we know we consume 100,000 pounds of, let's say, lamb, and we produce 40%, why should we be importing 120%? He says it is important that the quality of meat should also be taken into account. Uh, uh, look at the permits that they are sending out and look at the quality, more so the quality of the meat that, we are, that are coming in. Because it's high time all the awareness has been made about the dump meat and the, the pet food meat. That we should put some stringent measures in place to ensure that the meat that comes into the country are very safe. Mr. Khan believes that better standards need to be enforced to ensure superior quality animal protein for the nation. Mary Therese Bernard, C News.